everybody, Mac here. It's December 9th, and that means it is day 9 of our LEGO Advent Calendar opening. We are into the second week of December, and that means Christmas is getting closer and closer. And also, Mac's a little tired tonight because it was a rough Friday at work. <laughs> so if, if I seem a little slow, or if this video goes quickly, that's why I'm ready to go take a nap, to be quite honest. Now, in addition to being day nine and opening up door number nine, we have another update for you on the Valiverse figures. If you remember, last week at one point, I showed off the uh, Dorkside Toys Valiverse um, Infantry Commando exclusive. And then there was a follow-up video to that about uh, Dorkside closing their doors and Valiverse taking all of the stock back. And I had mentioned that they had mentioned something about holiday figures, and I was really excited about that. Well, Bobby Valla put up another video, and I will put a link to that video in the show notes below. But basically what I thought was going to be, when he said holiday figures, I thought those were going to be like Hasbro's Star Wars Black Series figures where like it's just like figures repaints with like holiday colors on them things like that like how Black Series does that how like they have the ugly sweater Boba Fett out there right now and they have um, like the abominable snowman Chewbacca paint job thing I thought that's what he was going to do but instead basically all they are is just some re-releases uh, re-releases and new releases for the holiday season for Christmas shopping. It's not actually holiday themed figures. And I was very bummed about that. <laughs> it's still coming out next week. There's um, a reissue of a figure coming out on, on a, a troop builder. There's some new accessory packs coming out and there's a uh, Crimson Shadows armory box coming out. So if you're into Valiverse or G.I. Joe or any of like the six inch scale military themed lines might be worth checking out. Now that that is out of the way, let's get to our advent calendar. Day nine and door number nine is down here low on the box. So let's pop this open. And what do we have? Oh, it's a, oh, it's a birdhouse. That's cool. That's real cool. You can definitely use that for pretty much anything. Doesn't even have to be for the holidays. So here's our bag of bricks. Let's put this together and we'll be back in a second to check out our birdhouse. So there's our birdhouse and this is cool. This is real cool. I like this. I like that we get this little bird piece right here, this little dove or whatever. And this kind of goes with the Santa's visit um, Christmas house that I showed you a few days ago that this would be really cool to put with that. One thing though, is that this is held together by just a one stud plate. And then this is held on by just a one stud plate. And it doesn't make it very sturdy because you can see the pieces keep wanting to unalign. And I guess that's one thing that I've noticed about this advent calendar that I hadn't noticed before in previous years. We saw it with the piano, the stand, the sweet stand, and then the cookie stand, or I'm sorry, the, the, the present table, and then the sweet stand over here, that they're not as sturdy as they have been in previous years. They look good. I'll get a lot of mileage out of them and a lot of usage out of them, but they just don't seem as sturdy as they have in previous years. So let's close up the door, and we're just gonna put the birdhouse right here on the outside of the barn, right by the lake. Turn it a little so it's facing out. There we go. So we have our bird with a birdhouse, the present table, sweet stand, tippy, billy, mailbox, plane, train, and still my number one favorite, the piano. So that is our little build for today. Now, tomorrow being day 10, I'm gonna guess tomorrow we're in for another minifig. I'm gonna, yeah, I think tomorrow we're in for another minifig. So we'll have to wait and see. So until then, my friends, Merry Christmas. Stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, thank you for watching.